All right, my people, welcome back to the series. A lot of hands to get through in this one. We played two sessions and across them, you really do get to see the good, bad and ugly from a guy with just nine months of live poker experience. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. I buy in for 400 quid, collect my chips and walk to my allocated seat. And the very second hand dealt to me, we look down at ace jack off in the low jack. Plus one kicks off the action with a limp. I limp along with the aim to induce a raise from someone behind and see a flop disguised, but cut off and button limp as well. And only when it gets to Falcao in the small blind, we see a raise to 20 pounds. Folds back to me and as planned, I call and so does cut off, sending us three ways to a flop of nine eight Ace King with two clubs. Falco is first to act and for a bit of context he's got good knowledge of the game so when he makes the check despite it hitting his range I'm quite confident to be ahead at this point with a player yet to act I bet 25 on a fairly connected board for protection and value and only Falco does make the call so heads up to the turn which is a beautiful board pairing ace of spades. Upgrading our hand further we receive further confirmation we are in the lead especially when Falco Cow checks to us again. I think if I bet now he probably folds all his lower pocket pairs and maybe even a king. So I decided to check back in an attempt to make him a non-believer and go in position to the river, which gives us another hand upgrade with the king of spades. He checks and now it's time to go for value and hope to get an attempted hero call. I bet 60, now putting him into the tank. He thinks for about 30 seconds before looking at his cards a couple times and for the final times and mucking. Later tells me he was considering a hero call with Queen High. Good fold, I think. I think I, I think I was winning. About an hour later and we pick up a playboy hand in ace king of clubs. With one limper in front of us, I raise to 10 in the cutoff and only the blinds call. So we go three ways in position to six, queen, eight, rainbow. We miss pretty badly, small blind checks, but now big blind leads for 15 pounds. Big blind seems like a new recreational player. All I have is two overs and a backdoor dream. I make a questionable call, ready to give up if unimproved on the turn but we do in fact improve when the king of spades comes and our big blind slows down and checks so pretty easy decision for me i lead out for 35 targeting his queen x combos but then interestingly after just 10 seconds he check raises us to 75 pounds Hmm, I have a good hand, but this does smell like king queen on a dry board and I can't see what he might bluff with But in the moment I can't let go just yet and end up calling Not too happy with the situation, but I have to see what he does out of position on the river on the river the six of spades comes and now he bets out 105 pounds now, to me, this stinks like King Queen. I finally wave goodbye to this hand. Oh my god, I've got a good hand. King Queen. Big line does eventually confirm it was in fact King Queen for the vlog. Nice hand. In retrospect, I should have followed my gut when he check raised on the turn, especially with this type of opponent who seemed new to the game. Would he make this play with many other combos as a bluff on what is already a very dry board? Anyway, that's something to learn from and we move. <laughs> Now picking up another premium in the ace-king off suit on the button. Hijack limps to us and I raise to £10 which gets calls from the big blind and hijack. Flop presents king queen 10 with two spades. Great, we have top bear top kicker and a gut shot with a back door, nut flush draw. But all that being said, the board is going to connect well with all high combos. Action does check to us and I see bet for £12 which both players call. Probably could bet a larger size and given how connected this board is to deny their equity but anyway turn brings in the eight of diamonds bringing in another flush draw with it but when it checks to me again i now size up to 30 and only the hijack calls river completes the board and also our gut shot straight draw when the jack of diamonds come in let's go good card i'm concerned about the run around flush completing especially when hijack checks to me for a third time now and so i bet 60 quid for value and hijack lets out some slight frustration which tells me he probably had us beat with a two pair up until the river and eventually does make the fold good to make some back onto the next one 
where we now quickly get into a bomb pot, my attempted explanation for which is on the screen. So feel free to pause the video to read it if you've never heard of it. Anyway, in a nutshell, it's poker on steroids and our six cards are king, six, three, ten, ten in early position. So we must use any two of the cards in our hand to make the strongest hand. And when the flop was dealt ten, eight, nine, rainbow, we hit top set and a gut shot to a king high straight. If a queen comes, we just need the board to pair or a queen and we should be good here and I call the pot limit size bet of 50 pounds on the flop and we ended up going three ways to the turn and river and on the turn came the board pairing nine of diamonds let's go and on the river now the five of diamonds but then our opponent shows she made quad nines well that is bomb pots for you <laughs> Okay, back to normal poker. Now, before receiving my cards, my dealer accidentally exposed the king of hearts, which was on its way to accompany our queen, but now the queen will have to settle for a jack of spades instead. Nevertheless, we bravely limp from plus two, which the hijack calls, cut off raises to 10, which now the big blind cold calls, I call hijack calls. So four ways to a flop of jack, nine, 10, all of diamonds, as wet as they come. Oh yeah, and if only we had got that king. Anyway, big blind checks. I continue a leak in my game by donk betting for 25 pounds because I am a donkey. But to be honest, at the time I have top pair with a draw to a straight, but it's hardly open-ended as we wouldn't want the king of diamonds to arrive and the king of hearts has already been killed from the game so we can only really hope for an eight now or to at least dodge another diamond action ends up folding to the initial pre-flop razor and we go heads up to the turn which presents the five of spades a card that changes absolutely nothing i continue for 50 to look strong and in hope to make her fold a diamond but she calls now making me think i'm no longer good and just burning money from the donk bet on the flop river comes a boy pair of nine of clubs and now now I checked expecting to be no good when she checks back but that is exactly what we are we are no good she shows ace jack with the ace of diamonds nice hand and I keep pushing on oh man had an open end of the... nobody had a she had game. she had the diamond my stack has dwindled down now and I add on for £160 to get ourselves back up to around a £400 stack to be able to continue to play some relatively deep stack poker. And I am now back in the action with the £5 under the gun straddle on. I'm in the plus two and I raise it up to £15 with the rightful couple this time with King Queen off. Calls from the big blind and straddler sends us in position three ways to a flop of 10 jack free rainbow. Really liking this board we are open ended with two overs giving us decent equity for the turn and river we are even flipping against a few top pair combos here so when big blind and strala check to me i now see bet for 15 pounds looking to build a pot in position they both call and the turn is what we like to see in the king of spades now both players check to me again i bet 50 pounds for value which again both the big blind and straddler calls a big pot brewing now things are going as planned so far and now the river comes the board pairing three of spades not a card that i think changes much so when both players check to me again now i make a pretty large bet of 85 pounds and both players snap fold this time we drag in a decent sized pot and looking back though i think my bet on the river is maybe too thin and losing to a lot of king x combos in their range like king jack and king 10 so i think a check back there for future is probably the better play but yeah at least we won the pot and didn't value own ourselves with that risky thin value bet i think anyway we move in the button now we pick up a beauty in ace queen of spades there is an abnormally large raise in the low jack from a young lady who I hadn't seen go out of line the entire session but nevertheless when it folds to us i do free bet for value with this hand to 40 pounds in position but then for the first time in the session she four bets to a hundred 
pound and I think for about half a minute go over this player type realize she does not have anything worse than Queens plus or ace king in my mind and uh, let this one go soon after that hand we are dealt an upgrade when we peel Queens and me and her meet again in a very similar situation she opens from first to act with the same abnormally large sizing of 15 pounds and folds to me but this time with a better hand I make the free bet to a larger size of 50 she doesn't hold back either as she four bets again to 140 I think for a bit folding is no option but whether to go all in for the remaining 194 pound or just make the call is what I'm weighing up I end up just making the call knowing if an ace or king comes on the flop I'm essentially fucked and can probably save about 100 quid so that's what I do and the flop blesses us with exactly no ace or king when it comes jack seven six rainbow now first to act she bets 75 and i snap go all in as she will want to rep aces and kings if she had ace king and uh, she doesn't snap call which is great she doesn't have aces or kings now she of course does end up calling though with the pot odds being favorable and the turn is another good one just joking it's the king of hearts and the river if you want to know was the seven of hearts she ends up having ace king nice hand nice hand that's the ugly side of poker but only when you're in the wrong end of it it's inevitable it will happen from time to time and i can at least be happy with the way i played it and we nice hand nice hand we're out for zero Ain't got too many comments, that's poker in it, that is poker. next morning all right back on the road we got unlucky last night it's part of the game now time to try win it back and this next session might just be one of the wildest ones yet we buy in for 400 pounds as per usual we sit down and a few bits in get dealt the hooks in the small plus two opens the action to 10 pounds low jack calls hijack calls button free bets to 52 and now the action is on me our position with four players yet to act i could definitely be aggressive and raise to a large sizing but there are two uncapped ranges yet to act and I don't feel jacks are quite strong enough instead I decide to call happy to invite callers to see a flop and potentially set mine or hit an overpair to the board however change of plans now when Tom in the big line four bets to 200 pounds and action eventually folds back round to the button who now goes all in for 777 pounds I just get out of there button then claimed to have taken down the pot with tens and big blind folded ace king well no point dwelling over that one now for the most significant hand whilst playing on this table of course i forgot to record it so a quick overview of it i had king queen in the small blind we went heads up to a queen high flop my opponent then triple barreled and i check called him on blank turn and river cards with a pot just north of 400 pounds on the line we reach showdown i show king queen and he simply mucked resulting in a nice 200 pound chip boost a few orbits later i head for a dinner break and on my return the side to transfer tables and find ourselves joining a very fun table where we kick things off with ace jack offsuit button raised to 10 pounds definitely an argument for raising here but i just make the call as button is very short stacked and the big blind comes along as well so we go three ways to a flop of five nine four with two hearts we whiff i check big blind and button check back turn comes a better card it's the ace of diamonds let's go no need to blow my cover first act i check big blind checks and now button bets 15 pounds i call big blind calls still three of us to a river queen of spades it does not complete any draws i should just check call here but i have button on an ace and instead decide to lead now and bet 25 big blind fold and button things for a little while and in fact does end up calling we show our ace jack and he shows ace 10 for a cooler oh. Oh, okay. Longer? Yeah, just started recently. Okay, now picking up 
king jack of diamonds in the low jack we go five ways with the straddler to a flop which is a good one seven six king two hearts interestingly the straddler leads for a tenner never played with him before he was playing a lot of hands before this and i've got him down as quite a loose player and i make the call everyone else calls other than the small blind so four ways to a turn which is a board pairing seven of diamonds shouldn't change too much now straddler leads for 40 though um he checked his straddle option when four players called him pre-flop leads the flop into four players and now another seven comes on the turn and he leads for 40 i'm not sure whether to put him on a seven i don't put him on an over pair maybe a combo draw or worse king x we do lose to king seven king six in his range but anyway i eventually justify making the call button comes along as well so three ways to the river which comes the jack of clubs a good card doesn't complete any draws whatsoever and it just improves us to two pairs however the straddler now triple barrels for 65 pounds oh boy if he has the seven he has it i just make the call button folds he turns over first and shows queen seven off suits he played out of line i think and got rewarded fair play nice hand but at the same time i'm thinking this is going to be a fun table nice hand okay. nice hand okay. <laughs> a bit later we play a hand with ace queen and lose about a hundred pound to a nice lady on our left so now i have completely undone the profits made from the first table as i'm back to break even but the way this table is so action happy and everyone are playing a lot of hands i have a lot of belief there will be opportunities and spots for me to win this is one of the better tables i've ever played in and players are getting it in all the time so i am not wrapping it up anytime soon i'm like i'm leaving here with something <laughs> you know what i mean i'm from around the way i'm leaving with something a few hands go by and we peel ace two of hearts managed to make half of what we lost with ace queen hand back with a flush draw semi bluff on the turn Then another 75 quid is made with ace king off following that and we are slowly working our way back to where we were but not so quick i decide to open up as well now for a change don't ask me why maybe i'm just becoming a product of the table that is so happy to play hands but with yes five two off suit in the big blind after facing a straddle limp from the hijack i raise to 20 and he calls well we are heads up may as well try go with it now flop comes king seven ten rainbow first to act i see the king i try rep it on a dry board with a 20 pound bet and he calls okay doesn't mean he has a king now the turn is the eight of diamonds i try my luck again now with a 45 pound bet and he calls again river is a blanket two of hearts i come to my senses and realize i'm just burning money definitely the most silly i've ever played but i commit to be transparent and include this hand in the vlog and we move check Hmm? What were you calling me on? On to where I play a bit more normally now. We are in the cutoff with 8, 9 off. There's a limp from the plus 1, followed by a raise to 10 from the low jack, which gets called by everyone yet to act, other than the big blind. So a whole 6 ways to a flop, which comes 10, queen, 9 with 2 hearts. A very wet board should connect with a lot of the ranges in play here. It does hit our hand too, but only marginally. So when it checks to me, I check and the button checks back. And we go to a free turn, which comes definitely a good one in the seven of hearts now open ended with a flush draw the initial pre-flop aggressor makes a delayed c bet to 30 pounds i think i'm just about getting the equity to call so i do and just like that we are heads up to a river which is a another good card in the three of hearts low jack slows down now with a check so now i think i should definitely be good i just go for around a half pot bet to get called by anything worse and he only thinks for about five seconds before putting in the call we show our eight high flush and he turns over six four parts very unlucky river for him but let's go
Unlucky. Okay, guys, a mad one coming up in the very next hand. Yeah. Yeah. Family pot. Here comes trouble. We pick up nine seven off in the hijack. The five pound under the gun straddle is on. Everyone just calls the straddle. So we have a family pot. Flop comes six nine seven rainbow. We got top two. We block a lot of sets. Only really lose to flop straight. And on a rainbow flop, I think flushes are still gonna be rare despite being eight ways here. So we have a very good hand. Action checks two plus two. Who bets twenty five? Which low jack calls. And now I raise to seventy five pounds. Folds to the button. Who calls? Back round to the initial raiser. Who thinks for about half a minute before letting. It goes so heads up now with a 245 pound pot in the middle. We only have 440 pounds behind us, and the villain has us covered onto the turn, which I think just needs to be a blank. And it is with the two of spades. First act, I bet a hundred pounds, and villain calls. Oh boy, I can feel the adrenaline is rushing through my body. This is one of the biggest pots I've played in with 440 pounds in the middle now be honest i'm not even too sure if we are good my value is starting to thin with each of his calls we go to the river which is the four of hearts well it is another blank whoever was winning before is still winning and i am not even too sure i bet another 150 pounds targeting over pairs nine six six seven i am not even too sure i just hope he doesn't have a set but he does play on the tighter side anyway after 30 seconds of thinking he makes the fold what a hand but guys you wouldn't believe it when i get told he folded pocket sixes for a flopped set and initial razor on the flop claimed he had the same hand as us so very lucky he did not find the call on the river i guess being eight ways we looked very strong raising on the flop he put me on a straight but yeah we move on now with a good amount of profit in the session shortly after that hand we get into another bomb bot flopping the nut flush but lose to quads again so unfortunately shave 70 pounds from our stack next up we pick up king queen off in the low jack the five pound under the gun straddle is on i just make the call although it should raise four players behind me call and the straddler then opts to raise to 25 i of course call hijack calls and small blind calls sending us four ways to a flop which presents four king nine all of hearts a pretty dreamy flop top pair with a queen high flush draw so when it checks to me i bet 40 quid everyone folds and we drag in around 80 pounds that being said looking back i think slow playing for disguise especially as we are out of position probably is the better play to try get value on the turn or river instead but we move and learn okay now we pick up the best hand in the poker in the hijack it's been a while the five pound under the gun straddle is on as well and i free exit to 15 pounds and everyone folds it's just me and you baby that's a shame <laughs> now on to a juicy one again four players limp to me and we are in the big blind i raised to 13 pounds with an aim to keep everyone in the hand and juice the pot up as we sit with 10 8 of spades which should perform well multi-way we end up getting three callers with one player in front of us and two behind to a very dreamy flop of nine jack six with two spades interestingly now player in front of us in the small blind leads for nine pounds as the pre-flop raiser i will have ace jack queens plus a lot of one pair holdings i can rip and not as often will they be able to put me on the monster draw that i have so i now raise to 25 pounds could definitely go higher here and only the hijack calls so now heads up our position to the turn which comes the seven of diamonds 
That's not bad. Let's go. High barrel for 35 again. A mistake. Probably could get away with a two third pot bet heads up here. But hijack does find the call for that cheap price. And the river is the ace of spades. Upgrading us to a flush. But downgrading from the nuts. I will continue. I bet £100. And hijack snap calls. Oh man. We show he marks and take it down. But kicking myself for not extracting to max value in this one could maybe have even gone for stacks uh but we move and try and learn now sitting with one of the largest stacks we've had to date with 943 pounds currently up 543 on to the final hand of the session where we hold king jack of spades in the small blind five pound undergun straddle is on there are three limpers before the action is on me and i go for the ultra aggressive route and raise to 60 pounds the straddler calls and now the big blind goes all in for 80 pounds i call for 20 pounds more and straddler calls so now really really needing a good flop with a hand i'm overplaying overvaluing and wouldn't usually play this aggressive it comes for six eight rainbow so i completely whiff i probably should see bet bluff to rep a big pocket pair now for at least one street here but at the time instead i'm thinking three ways king high i'm probably just burning more money so ended up checking and straddler checks back turn comes the 10 of diamonds i check again and now straddler probably sensing i have a weak hand because i checked the flop bets 50 pounds i don't think he has a very strong hand either so i make the call and the river completes the board with the 10 of hearts i check and straddler checks back showing ace four of clubs and takes it down looking back i think despite missing on the flop the best play would have been c bet bluff into rep and over pair and hope to get a fold on a board that doesn't hit his range but with the third player all in, it's more risky. So the mistake probably goes all the way back to my pre-flop raise being too large. Anyway, what a session, what a table. The poker room is about to close. It's 4 a.m. and we cash out for 783 pounds. Just finished session two here. Cashed out for about 775. It's 4 a.m. Uh, I just could not leave early. The table was too good. The action was too good. What a session. Up, down. And yeah, we end on a win. We make up for a bit of the loss in session one. Not quite all of it, but you know, it is what it is. It's, it's good enough. I'm happy. And yeah, great session. Fun session. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Do make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Show your support. It means everything and thanks for watching. I am out guys. See you in the next vlog. Peace.